Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Crash Landing, a map pack on the Feed the Beast launcher created by Iskandar. We are on a server in version 1.1.2. It's uh, that time. <laughs> I have lost my stone barrels and I need to find them. They're like my uh, sheep. So let's get going. One thing that's going to help us do that is to use our pneumatic craft helmet, which we are going to craft right now. Uh, to craft a Minecraft helmet, we need a printed circuit board, which I've prepared ahead of time because we've already made a bunch of those. And we need four air canisters. These air canisters are very easy to make. Uh, just some compressed iron tubes and redstone. They don't stack. Okay, and don't make more because I don't think there's much use for them otherwise. Well, got the volume upgrades. A vortex cannon. <laughs> uh, the matic wrench, which we actually are going to need, so maybe we'll make one more. And uh, here the plastic, the helmet. That's about it. Oh, there's a manom manometer. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, here we go. Let's make this helmet. One, two, three, four. There we go. And you can see it starts at zero bars, which is also durability zero. If uh, if you wear that and get hit hit by, I think it will just go away. <laughs> so don't do that. Um, although it seems to have got rid of the durability once I took it out of the crafting table. I don't know. Lance Sturter had a problem with his helmet being destroyed by a mob that hit him. We need to charge this guy and give him upgrades. And the way we do that is we put in this charging station. The charging station I got from, I believe, the city. Uh, oops. Where'd my helmet go? Here's the recipe for it. That's picking up the stupid helmet. Uh... Stop doing that. Alright, I need to change R as the sorting key. There we go. <laughs> so it's actually really easy to create. Stone slabs, a pressure tube, and some red plastic. Red plastic was something that I got uh, from Landstrider, but you could all very easily uh, get some red dye, which I've shown how to get, and you can mix that with grass seeds somewhere. Probably an unshaped. There's 26 recipes, so I'm not going to show it. But there it is. There it is. Flower seeds is grass seeds plus rose red. And that's how you get it. Uh, it needs to be grown on netherrack, which is lava in a barrel clicked with redstone. So we'll actually make some of that in just a bit as soon as we find our barrel. <laughs> I can know I could just make another one, but why waste it, right? Uh, a couple of you pro um, probably write, and then I probably used my barrels to make my drums since the recipe on a water drum involves a barrel or uh, yeah, yeah involves a stone barrel so let's get this charging station down uh, I need to put it somewhere where I can reach let's go ahead and set uh, if you look I've added a second floor here boom it's all the way up into the clouds uh, so let's go ahead and go up there and we can go put this charging station right I think uh, let's put it right here for now Oops, that's not going to work. I don't have a way to spin this yet. So, there we go. Okay, charging station. I've got to hook it up to some air. And that's going to be right. Connect that. There we go. This will slowly start pressurizing. This one can hold up to 20 bars of pressure. So, it's much a more advanced system than we have been working with previously. But it's right now, it's just equalizing with all the other machines. That's why it's going so fast. And... Uh, down here, um, you'll notice I that's going up a lot higher. I changed my program now to trigger on any signal 8 through 15. So it'll let it go up to 4, and then it will turn these machines off. Why? No, don't put all the charcoal in there. I switched it to charcoal, and I forgot to set it to 1. Let me fix that real quick. Specific amount 1. There we go. All right, now only take one charcoal, please. Oh, it's not taking it because they don't need it. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Pro problem fixed. Um, so now it's going to keep it above four uh, so that I can get a lot more pressure in my system. Right, I used to have it at three. So this guy should be charged now. And I can go ahead and put my helmet in there in the inventory or that little slot. And it's going to start flowing air into there. And it's going to charge up pretty slowly. 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I could put some speed upgrades in there and probably charge faster. 
Um, but you can see upgrades, we can do volume, where it can store more air in here. Uh, speed, it will discharge, yeah, it goes and fill it faster. Um, we don't need a dispenser because we're not charging drones. And uh, safety valve tube so it doesn't explode. We're good on that, I don't think we'll ever explode for now. So, while that charges, we can click this inventory button. And we can see that we can put a number of upgrades in here. And let's remove any eyes so we can see that. Uh, the entity tracker upgrade allows us to track entities and we can filter out which entity we want to track. So if we want to only see creepers or only see Endermen, you could do that. Only see other players, that kind of thing. Uh, it only works on 16 blocks by default, but we could give it a range upgrade to make it work better. Uh, block tracker allows us to sort um, track chests. And that's one of the most important ones that we're going to need right now. Uh, mob spawners, furnaces, tons of stuff. And portal blocks, yeah, that would be awesome if we were looking for a uh, stronghold. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, close that. We've got uh, the helmet status. It's using zero because we don't have any upgrades in it, so anything we charge it with is just going to stay in there. An item search upgrade is also what we're going to put in there. It'll allow us to find specific blocks or items. And then the tracker upgrade, we can um, mark a location. Um, so we can return to it and that kind of thing. Um, a second, as a second feature upgrade, we'll use Minecraft's pathfinding to navigate you to wherever you want. So you could type in a path and hit go, and it would just make you walk. No mouse. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, I've never tried that. We might try that at some point. But the really ones I need right now are the block tracker and the item search. So let's go downstairs and craft those up. Um, I believe I already have a player tracker. I think uh, Landstarter gave us that in this prank, but it's really easy to make bones, lapis, and fermented spider eye. The other two, let's get any eye back here. Uh, the block tracker is lapis, fermented spider, and pressure chamber walls or windows, or maybe even, nope, only walls or windows. Okay, and I have some of those. I'm going to use windows if I can because I don't have any purpose for those. And I need fermented spider eye, which I think I moved over into the kitchen from my mob farm. Those have been um, dropping automatically off my Enderman, uh, the special Enderman, the red Enderman. But you could always get one that way. Pretty easy. Okay, let's craft that guy then. There we go. And the other one we want was the item search. Ooh, that's a little bit difficult. So a golden carrot, which is nuggets and a carrot. Uh, lapis and eyes of ender. So let me get a carrot here. Let me go get some gold uh, blaze powder. One, two, three, four. Oh, more lapis, right? Yeah. Yay, lapis has a use. Today we are eating bacon cheeseburgers. That was just adding some to tofu to a cheeseburger. So it's a... Uh, Whoa, did you see how much they gave me? Wow, <laughs> I am just amazing. Okay, that's awesome. Um, so we're what we're looking for, ender pearls. One, two, three, four. And I think that was it. Oh, golden carrots, I need some nuggets. Do I have any nuggets in here? Cleaned a few things out of here just to give it some more room. It's already filling up again. Um, I've tried melting these things even at full durability and they haven't worked. I think I'll try again just to, maybe something changed, but I swore I've tried that before and it wouldn't give me gold back. It's kind of the purpose I was keeping it for. Alright, so Ender Eyes and Lapis gives me the item search. Okay, so let's go upstairs, let's throw this thing in the oven just to check, see if anything happens. I don't really need more gold, but hey, it's free gold. Hey, it's working now! Huh. I wonder if that was fixed to maybe 111 or 112. Okay, well, now we have purpose for all that golden armor that we've been hanging on to. I know, I know it for sure it needs to be repaired all the way. Um, fairly certain anyway, unless something's changed too. I've been wrong before, right? But anyway, let's get going with our upgrades. I think I just said, but anyway, like five times. <laughs> okay, so click on the inventory. This is the upgrades for the helmet. This is the upgrades for the charging station, so don't get the two confused. Uh, entity tracker in there. 
block tracker, item search, and really the only other one we could do would be the coordinate GPS or the volume upgrades. Okay, let's uh, see how much it's using now. It's going to use 2.3 milliliters a tick. So right now it's charged at just above four. Um, so it's it's evening out with all the other uh, things in the system at just above four because that's what my machines are set to turn off at. And it's going to last me 18 minutes with that much charge. Okay. You can see the durability is 238 out of... No, that's in Varyhelm. Hold on. Yeah, it's got 120,000 durability. I don't know how <laughs> Land Strider lit, lost his, but okay, it's ready to go. So this is, gets a little bit crazy when you put it on. <laughs> so let's get out in the open. Where's my door? And see what happens. Uh, da, da. Here we go. Ooh, nice sound effect. <laughs> Whoa, this thing's crazy. <laughs> So it says it's got the three upgrades, not a coordinate tracker. Holy crap, look at all this. Ah. <laughs> wow, let's turn the map off so we can see all the UI. And it says that helmet pressure is currently at 4.3 bars. We've tracked 235 inventories in the surrounding area. And it's still looking at more as we get closer. Remember the block range is about 30. So it's now looking up all... Oh, all these stupid... Uh, Conveyor belts are, it thinks they are inventories. <laughs> Crazy. All right, well, let's go back here by the main area. And you can see it says press F to configure, and that's in our item search. So let's go ahead and hit, oh my goodness, this crazy green bars. So the first thing, we've got the general helmet options. Uh, we can move things where they are. So right now the stat screen is right here, that's perfect. Uh, the message screen is up at the top, that's great. And we can change what opens the menu key. Right now it's F. So if you have something else on F, you can change it. Block tracker. Uh, all you can really do is move where it shows. I'm going to, yeah, that's pretty good because the other one's right here. And then allow it to go down. Um, entity tracker. This is how you can filter. So if you want uh, search for a creeper or you can use like at mob, at player, at somebody's name, that kind of thing. Look for them. And you can uh, change where it moves that. And here's an item search, and this is where we're going to search for item. And uh, that was in Test World, so it's already remembered that. But I want to search for stone barrels right there. There we go. And now if we exit here, it's a stone barrel. One found. So there is one stone barrel somewhere around here. The only way to find it now is to look for a green hue. There it is, right down there. Looks like it's downstairs. The one inventory I did not check. <laughs> Oh, I remember. I had it down here for Obsidian Generation. Ah, it was right here the whole time. <laughs> so, our helmet worked. Awesome. We need to get uh, some water. I'm going to go ahead and just steal this thing. Uh, should I steal? Yeah, let's steal it. Okay, this helmet is going, giving me bonkers. Wow. Something that was really weird. All right, so it's turned off. Let's get some water so we don't. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, uh, where did my barrel go? Just picked it up. Okay. Okay. Now I can pick it up again. So we'll only use that helmet at specific times when we actually need it. I don't advise walking around with it all the time because that's that would get crazy overwhelming. Okay, let's put that there. Um, we can get our lava. How much lava we got in there? I want my map back. We got almost eight buckets of lava. This thing I need to turn off. I mean, it's got so much crap. Um, so we're going to make netherrack and red, uh, and obsidian. Let's go ahead and get some barrels. They're not barrels, buckets. And let me just get a piece of cobble to prevent this water from going everywhere. There we go. Okay, so lava in there. Water. Uh, is that going to ruin anything if I put water there? Can't tell. Ah, I can't see anywhere. I don't think so. I think it's a nook there anyway. Alright, so actually we could just get another piece of cobble. There. 
All right, now we can just get some obsidian. Hmm. Kind of put it in a silly place. Can I just click right through there? Oh, cool. That works. All right. So we had eight buckets of lava. Let's go ahead and get four obsidian. And we can go and pick up the water now, put it back in the barrel. And now let's do redstone to get some nether hack. So grab some lava. Nether hack. There we go. And four. I'll automate this, I think, off camera just to have automated uh, netherrack and obsidian using Steve's Factor Manager. All that probably just blow out the wall there or there or something since I already have my lava generating right there. Okay, so now we've got that obsidian that we needed from last time. So let's go ahead and use that to make that final upgrade. I think it was, oh, we used up our lapis, didn't we? One, two, three, four. All right, so obsidian, pressure tube, and lapis makes the security upgrade. Well, we've got a little bit of lag going on the server. Uh, under pressure, open that up. You can see we've, uh, what's this guy? Oh, we still need to make a speed upgrade. Um, let's save that for the end of the episode if we have time. What I want to do now is start the assembly line. And so we are going to need a couple machines. Yeah, definitely some lag going on now. Uh, we'll need a platform. We will need a uh, laser. We're going to need two I.O. units. And we're going to need a controller. Where are you? You are in here. There you are. <laughs> Different color than the others. That's why I couldn't see it. Uh, we're going to need a chest. Tiny chest will work. Okay. Perfect. And oh, I better get my water so I can use it. Huh. I wonder what would start that log. Maybe using that helmet all of a sudden? Overloaded my memory, maybe? Hmm. Anyway, let's go upstairs. And we're going to put a few items down. The first thing is the controller and that needs power so let's go ahead and put him right yeah here's good oh can you not okay you are just yeah it's really lagging give me one sec guys i'm gonna log off and log back in just see if i can fix any lag maybe it's client side lag all right guys we're back i restarted the client and i also ran a little opus magic to uh purge some extra chunks that were loaded and uh, yeah, everything seems to be a little bit better. Should open up immediately now. Yeah, cool. All right, so we put the controller down. Now we need to put our machines, and we need to put them in the right places. Uh, the these are the five, four, well, five things we need. The I/O units must both touch the chest one block away, so that they can uh, both grab from and put into the chest. One will be input, one will be output. So I could have them both here and then have the chest there. Okay, they'll be able to grab in and out. The platform will also be within one block of these. So if I put it here, that wouldn't work because this guy couldn't reach it. So, no, we got still got lag. Huh, there we go, okay. Um, restart it again and it allowed me to pick it up. Put that there uh, so they can both get to it and then the laser just also needs to be within one block of the platform. Then they also all need to be somehow touching each other so that the controller can see all of the ba via the base. So just like that, that is a pretty good setup right there. I'm actually going to switch these two just so I can uh, see it a little better. Alright, I think that will work great. Uh, one thing we're looking at, though, is these are both blue, which means they're both input, so I wouldn't be able to actually grab the finished PCB or any other pattern that I'm making and put it in the chest. So I need, for that, a pneumatic craft wrench. Let's go ahead and look at what the wrench takes to make. Uh, we're going to need another canister, some gray plastic, 
and a lever. Gray plastic is made by these burst plant seeds. Do we have any burst plant seeds? That's a question. Gray plastic seeds. I don't remember getting any. That sounds new to me. Oh, we do have some. Okay, cool. So I'm going to have to take two, leave one in there just in case something weird happens. And grab a stack of bone meal. Uh, I'm not sure what ha what burst plant seeds do when they <laughs> burst. Uh, I'm not going to want to try and find out, though. So I've got plenty of area over here just to throw these down. Oh, don't stack together, silly things. Whoa! <laughs> this is a pretty crazy method to do it. It's like popcorn. There is an automated way to do this. Uh, with some vanilla and also with some Steve's. Uh, but I don't know, this is just, I like the popcorn. <laughs> Until you accidentally click on the grass instead of a seed and you've got all this dumb grass everywhere. All right, almost got enough. Whoops, it's about to burst. Let's not let that happen. Let that happen. Ooh, that was a good one, like three jumped out. And we only have one bo more bone mill, so we won't use the last bone mill there. Alright, so we ended up with 38 burst plant seeds out of a stack of bone mill. We'll go ahead and turn those into some gray plastic. You go in there. And check on my system, make sure it's burning correctly. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> it got to four and a half. Hmm. That scares me a little bit. But I guess, I guess it worked. We might want to put in a regulator or a safety valve um, type thing, just in case. But I think we're okay for now. All right, so let's put these gray plastic seeds in here. Tell it to only allow. I always start at the beginning so I can type plastic and then delete the old one. All right, you gonna make some of that for me? Uh, while we're doing that, let's make another one of these. Um, Air canisters, and we got everything else but a lever. There's a lever, and there's our plastic. Cool. Doesn't want to do that. Okay. You go there. You four, five. Yep. And we got the pneumatic wrench. The wrench also needs to be charged in this charging station. Let's get put him in there. And he's going to fill up. And he does not have an inventory, so you cannot put any upgrades on him. Uh, I'll fill him all the way up later. Right now I just need a little bit, just so I can turn this guy to orange. Perfect. Okay, so next thing... I'll go charge this up while we're doing the rest. Now we need to put a program in here. And if we click on this, we can look at... Uh, uh, it's not going to show us the programs. I thought it would show me the different programs I could use. No, I don't see anywhere to click. Okay, so we're going to need to look at the programs. We can probably see that in Pneumatic Graft itself. And they look like a little red. Here we are. So we have the Drill Program, which takes eight emeralds and a diamond. Laser Program, eight emeralds and a rose red. Or combine the two, and you get Drill and Laser. <laughs> Pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get one. Oops, I think we got as a quest reward the laser one. You can see the laser takes a controller, a platform, two IOs, and a laser itself, which we have. It's nice that the quest rewards, uh, the quest set you up to the right things. All they have to do is put this now in here. And if we, uh, there was a way to see. Huh, oh, there we go. So with um, the drill and laser, we can take compressed iron and turn it right into pressure tubes. Um, with the drill itself, we can do uh, pressed iron into valves, and that's the only thing. <laughs> and the laser turns empty PCBs before they've been lightboxed into un unassembled so it handles the light boxing and the etching acid all in once all at once uh, we can also take uh, compressed chamber valves into a pressure tube 
and blocks of quartz into a tile, which is used for the signs. And that's pretty much all the recipes. So it's a really cool set of blocks, but unfortunately they're just not used for a lot of stuff. That's okay. Let's go ahead and get all of our unassembled PCBs. Oops, these don't stack anymore. All right, I guess that's as many as we're gonna get for now. And put them in the chest. And go. Here it goes. He's gonna grab one out of the chest. Super slow. <laughs> Come on, dude. Find one. He got one. And he's like, <laughs> you can see this takes three and a half bars of pressure, and that's why I wanted my um, valve up to four. Okay, I'm just gonna stick that there. Cool. Put it down. There you go. Awesome. That's gonna clamp it in there and this laser is going to come over and laser it up. Don't look directly in the laser. It's got a warning on there. <laughs> and it's going to put the little red line. It's lasering it. Nice. There it is. <laughs> it's a PCB. And then the output guy is going to come over and grab it. Oh, I love the animations on this. Come on. You can do it. Grab it. There he goes. And he should put it in the same chest. Um, you can put another chest closer to him. Like if I put him over here and then put a chest here, he would, you know, obviously just drain it that chest. So you can have it in and out. But the blue one is smart enough only to grab things that it needs. It won't grab this guy that it's going to put back in. And we're done. Yay! <laughs> and then we can go and do the whole thing with the transistors capacitors to make that into a circuit. Cool. All right, let's make him go a little bit faster. Sound good? Right in, where do we have our speed upgrades? Are they in here right now? No, that's volume. Speed upgrades are in a light box, and we don't need the light box anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the speed upgrades out of there. Come on. And let's put them right in here. And you can watch how much faster this guy goes now. Look at that. He is moving, he is cruising. And I'm sure they use a lot more pressure this way. Yeah, but we're staying above four, so that's pretty good. And look at that. Shroom, shroom. Whoa, he's going nuts. <laughs> and he's going to grab it. And he's going to put it in. So that's much better to put a few speed upgrades in there. Are you all charged up? Not quite. You're getting there. Looks like we are hot, so let's go get some water. I put that here. Go put it back in the kitchen. Looks like we also need to eat a bacon cheeseburger. Ah, uh, that doesn't taste like bacon. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four water bottles. Oops. All right, Camelback is full. Now let's look at the quest book again. And see how we did with under pressure. We didn't complete anything. <laughs> uh, so we still need that speed upgrade. Um, we made a charging station. I guess it counted the charging station that we found. Uh, we made the wrench. Now we need the GPS tool. All right, let's see how easy that thing is. GPS tool is some um, more red plastic and a bunch of easy things. So let's get that netherrack that we have. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get one netherrack over here. I should have grabbed some. I'm just going to dig down. Actually, I'm going to dig down a little further. And put the nether rack right there. And I guess we'll need to fly out now. And let's go get our red seeds and some bone meal. And we'll go ahead and make some fire plant. Um, these ones are going to be a little bit careful with because if they land on something that's not nether rack, they will just burn and then you lose them. So be careful. That's why I've dug a hole. So hopefully they won't be able to get out. That's a big if. <laughs> but they're always easy to make again because I've got the, uh, the whatever it's called. All right, so throw it in there. Land on the netherrack. Plant. One, two, break. All right, now I can just one, two, break. And then once I'm all done, I can just jump down in there and there'll be a ton of seeds left. I got off somehow. Whoops. Are you falling up? 
No, it's just a glitch. Oh, and I don't want them to... I'm going to collect them every once in a while, just in case I overclick on it and it starts to fire and burns all the ones that are here. Let's see, let's... Maybe slow down a little bit, because I want to make sure I'm not burning them. Okay. There we go. 34 of those. Go ahead and put my water back on. And we can go and turn those into red plastic. And no way, you know, can't use these in the assembly line or anything. We still have to use this pressure chamber guy. And this is still set to plastic. Yes, it is. Why are you still getting so much? I said move one. Trigger, input, inventories, items, charcoal. Specify amount one. Condition, inventories. Oh, I know what it is. I've, I forgot to change this to charcoal. That was what it was. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I don't have any coal. Give me more. All right. Let me fix these really quick. And then that should be all fixed. Okay. Much better. Now it won't stick all of it into one. It should even it out. There we go. Uh... Yeah, that shouldn't, that shouldn't hit five. <laughs> a little nervous, but we should be good. Okay, so we've got the red plastic. Now we can make this guy. I need a glass pane, a diamond, and a redstone torch. Do I have any glass panes? I do. Redstone, diamond. Okay, and uh, stick. Perfect, one stick. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I got a ton of redstone. Alright, GPS tool. The GPS tool, basically, you can click in a location in the world to set its coordinates. Then I could put it in any tool that uses it, uh, like a drone or my Pneumatocraft helmet and that kind of thing. It would program it to that location. So, that's pretty cool. Might as well just set it to Walrus. Center of town. Uh, that one. There we go. And uh, that's about all I'm going to do with that right now. I don't have really a purpose for it yet. So let's just put it away. Uh, where can you go? Yeah, you can go right there. Okay, and that should complete that quest, right? Yes. Nope, there's more. <laughs> An air cannon. Okay. Air cannon. Takes. A cannon barrel. A stone base, which is pretty easy. Cobble slabs and a pressure tube. So I need some stone. One, two, three, four. I need some slabs. One, two, three. What else? Uh, we can dip that. Get that. Cannon base. Safety valve. So we need some gold. and uh, Yep, gold. One, two, three, four. Pressed iron, I made a bunch more. One of you. One of you. Oops. Dang it. <laughs> That's not what I meant to hit. Uh, yep. Okay. And the base. And that. You. Cool. Alright. I think we got everything. Yes, we do. Awesome. Air cannon. Wow. <laughs> okay, I gotta try this. <laughs> I've never... I don't know what it does. Um, so let's go up. And I need to punch a hole in this wall right now. I hope this doesn't blow up my base. <laughs> Alright, we are gonna put it right here. And looks like we need to wrench him. Are you done with my wrench? Oh, it's not going to fit all the way because I don't have a lot of pressure. That's fine. All right, you... 
There we go. Now, air cannon takes a GPS, so we need to tell it where to fire. And it's going to need something to fire. And let's see how, what upgrades can we get. A dispenser, um, so it would be dispensed instead of thrown. That's uh, good for like potions and stuff, I guess, or it's something you don't want to use. Um, shoots items which have a lifespan of 60 seconds. For each upgrade you put with item life, you get an additional 30. Volume, speed, range. I don't know what the default range is in a safety valve. Okay, so I guess we do have a point of this GPS. Let's go ahead and get one. I'm going to start with someplace close. Not, not my walrus, that's for sure. So let's start maybe right here. Let's see if we can fire out here. Okay. Now, what do we want to throw? Let's just throw a block. And GPS. Here it goes. Did it shoot? Come on. Uh, problems. Apply a redstone signal. Uh, redstone signal and right angle. Let's just say... Yeah, just need a redstone signal. Okay. Ha! Huh. Darn it. <laughs> uh, let's do a button. Then we can say fire! We need... Do we put a button on the ground? I don't think that'll work. Oh well, let's try it. There it goes! <laughs> Alright, let's remove a few more blocks. Alright, ready? Aim. Fire. Zoom! <laughs> and did it land out here? There it goes! <laughs> Sweet. So, can it dispense TNT? That would be a nice question to know. Because that would be pretty cool. That would act like a cannon. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's that's pretty good for there. I think we're done with this episode. Um, I didn't quite get to that. Uh, well, we can take a reward. Um, I get all of them. Cool. So, I think I'm going to... That was fun with the cannon. Maybe I'll use it in a prank of some sort. But I definitely like... I like what it what I'm seeing. <laughs> Pneumaticraft has some fun little toys you get to play with once you evolve far enough into your progression. So let's go ahead and build these walls again, and I will go ahead and say goodbye to you guys for this episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. Pretty easy. And uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. It's free. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to check everybody else's channel. It's been Funchnex for Crash Landing. Catch you later. Bye.